Hi everyone, in this video I want to do a basic overview of how to use Fireship.ai. Now Fireship.ai is a platform that lets you use the best AI tools available for the price of only one. Now what do I mean? After registering, let's just click start chatting and this is your main interface. It looks like Gemini or ChatGPT, it's basically a very simple interface with some small differences. As you can see here in the bottom, we have our text input. You can ask your questions here. And uh, right above it, we have this toolbar. Now, this toolbar lets you select between different AI tools. As you can see here, ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, DALI 3, ChatGPT undetected, and then something else called Prompt Magic AI, which I will tell more about in the next video. So to use it, it's very simple. The first engine selected, the basic one is ChatGPT. Let's just ask a question. Please tell me a story about a night. Okay, click enter. And as you can see, the response times are just as quick as the regular um, ChatGPT because this platform is directly connected to its API. So, okay, here we have the story and below you can either copy it or humanize it which is something i will go i will tell about later in this video same thing with claude we can just switch to claude and we can ask what was the story about again now this is the amazing thing when switching between these ai tools they all have knowledge of their conversation you are holding even though you are switching between engines um, between AI tools. So the context is shared between all these AI tools. Let's just click enter to confirm this. And as you can see, I asked the following question, what was the story about again? And even though I switched to a different engine um, to Claude, Claude was able to tell what the story was about. Okay, nice. Now let's talk about ChatGPT undetected. Um, this output currently is very easily detectable by AI detectors. I will do a more in-depth video on uh, how this works um, with actual results, but let me just say this is really easily detectable as being AI generated and sometimes, especially for students or lawyers or website developers they don't want their text to be detected as ai generated so what you can do here is you can either click this button to humanize the output so now it will regenerate a humanized output let's just wait this might take a couple of seconds okay but here we have this is the humanized output which should not be detected by ai detectors now i will confirm this in a in a later video and here you have the old input so this was the regular story and it was this was the humanized story okay um same thing i can just let's just copy this here um let's say you already have a text not from this platform and you want to just humanize it you can switch to chatgpt undetected.com paste your text in here click enter and wait for the engine to finish and as you can see here it finished and then you have again your regular input and your output um, okay nice so i didn't want to go into it in this video but let me just give a quick overview of prompt magic ai because even though this platform gives you access to all of these amazing tools it's not the main power of this engine the, the real power of this engine is its own ai which is being developed every day and it works as follows normally when you ask a question or multiple questions to let's say chat gpt you can ask okay write a story and generate an image for the story a cover image for the book let's say now it might be that even though chat gpt is really good at creating stories maybe DALI 3, its image generator, is not as good as a different AI tool like Midjourney. Now what Prompt Magic can do, it's automatically split this prompt up and provide it to the different AI tools and consolidate um, a complete response. Let me just show it real quick. So I can just say, 
um, create a story about an elf, okay? Um, about an elf with his lover and create a quiz about the story in JavaScript. Now, as you can see, these are two completely different requests. One is to write a story and one is to generate a quiz or create a quiz in JavaScript. Now, even though they have the same topic, they are really not related. So it might be that Claude is much better at programming and ChatGPT is much better at writing stories. And I can just add something else. Also give me some laws that were uphold in the Middle Ages. Again, something that a specific engine might be better at than something else. Um, let's just type enter and see what happens. Okay, as you can see, it separated the prompt in three different questions. It also improved each prompt. It put them in a prompt queue here on the side and it will go engine engine and 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 extract its response and consolidate them into one big response. So I, I hope this is clear. It, it goes a lot, a lot deeper and it's getting better every day. But basically what, what's happening here is that you can use all these tools at the same time through one engine. So this is really nice. Um, take a look at it. The pricing works as follows. You have your regular trial period. You can just try it out for free. Then you have Pro, which is basically the same price as ChatGPT or Claude, $20 a month, um, but you get all of the platforms, plus PDF chat. I have not showed it in this video. You can basically chat with PDF files to and ask it like really specific questions without you going page by page and uh, yeah, doing everything by yourself. Um, I will do this in a later video also. And then you have enterprise for maybe some bigger teams of seven users that, that, yeah, that want to use the platform a bit more extensive with higher limits, etc. So that's it for this video. In the next video, I will take a deeper look at ChatGPT undetected. And after that, also PDF chat. So see you in the next video.